So we just made some fresh tomato sauce with thyme and oregano from our garden and basil. And then tomatoes, um, tomato sauce and sesame seeds. And we put it in the blender for just about literally probably 10 seconds. And it made a incredibly delicious tomato sauce. So try it cool. so we know it's so we know <laughs> it's the real deal. Pretty good. It's pretty amazing that it seriously the the seeds ground up completely so you can't taste any chunks. Good deal. Hi everyone. I'm going to do a video review of the Clean Blend High Performance Blender today. This one is 3 horsepower, 1800 watts. Um, it's a commercial series blender. Uh, the nice thing about it is that it's under $200 while uh, Similar commercial grade blenders with same or similar specs are between four and five hundred dollars. Uh, so I'm going to be making smoothies, uh, pureeing soup, and making ice cream today. So um, stay tuned, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks. So this is everything unpacked. Uh, it didn't require any assembly, which was nice. Uh, so it comes with an instruction manual, motor base, two liter blender jar, lid, filler cap tamper, spatula, and nut milk bag. So the motor base um, looks kind of like a, a Vitamix, which is nice. It's really simple. Um, has an on-off switch, a variable speed control, and a pulse control. Uh, so a, a nice feature about this is it has an automatic overheat shutoff, so if it does get overheated, it'll automatically shut off and keep the motor from burning out. Um, I've burned out many a blender motor, so, so I'm going nice to be touch. making a smoothie with this. Um, this is with the, the container on. I securely put the lid on, hold it down. Um, so in this one I have bananas, pears, spinach, and I use frozen berries um, instead of ice. So we'll see how it holds up to the frozen berries. Okay, ready? <laughs> I didn't have to scrape anything down or anything, it just blended everything up. Awesome. Alright, it handles smoothies super easily. Ice cream next. Um, I have a bunch of frozen mango that I've been blending a little bit. I'm using the tamper for this one to keep everything down. So I was just done a little bit beforehand because I wanted to just show you the finished product. So you start it at low, you turn it on. Work your way wanted to show you guys the finished product. I ran it through a couple more times. Um, that's mango ice cream right there and it took like not even two minutes to make. I've never made ice cream in a blender before but that was pretty cool. Alright here I have um, a thick lentil and sweet potato soup that I need to puree. Uh, normally if I'm running this through like a food processor or one of my like older cheaper blenders uh, I'd have to constantly be scraping down the sides, so we'll see how this holds up. Pretty easy. Uh, here it is in final form. Soup. Uh, so I've had a chance to test the clean blend out, and uh, so far it's pretty great. Um, it's definitely the most powerful blender I've owned. Um, doesn't have any trouble with smoothies or pureeing or even making ice cream, which is pretty cool. Um, in addition to how powerful the motor is, I do like how easy the controls are, just on off, and you know you control the speed with this dial right here. Um, it's really straightforward. Um, one thing I would like to add um, 
because it's so powerful, um, it blends things much quicker than a regular blender, so definitely keep an eye on things, because um, it'll be done way sooner than expected. Um, you know, a another thing I would like to add is just because of how fast the motor is, you do need to keep your hand on top, um, but I feel like that just goes without saying. I mean, I do that with any blender I've used, um, so just do the same with this one. But so far, it's so good. Um, I'll be following up in a couple months, uh, planning on using this on a regular basis, so I'll let you guys know how it's going. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching.